Hey everyone, in this video we are going to locate the difference between Redis and MongoDB. Redis and MongoDB are both NoSQL databases where we don't require the tables to store the data. So let's look at the differences now. Redis is written in ANSI and C language whereas MongoDB is written in C++, Go, JavaScript and Python languages. The primary database model for Redis is Key Value Store which is a type of NoSQL database and the primary database model for MongoDB is Document Store. So the data will be stored in the form of documents in MongoDB and that is also a type of NoSQL database. Redis is an in-memory storage with on-disk persistence whereas MongoDB is by default an on-disk storage but if you want in-memory you can get it with the MongoDB Enterprise Edition. Redis supports multiple data types like strings, hashes, lists, sets and sorted sets, bit arrays, hyperlog logs and geospatial indexes hence they have partial predefined data types. While in MongoDB also you can see multiple data types like string, integer, double, decimal, boolean, date, object id and geospatial and they have predefined data types. Redis supports secondary indexes but with a restriction that it can only be done with Redis search module whereas MongoDB supports secondary indexes without any restrictions. Redis supports both master-slave replication and master-master replication whereas MongoDB supports only master-slave replication. So you can see that there is no master-master replication in MongoDB. In master-master replication the same data will be persisted or replicated in multiple master nodes. The server-side scripting in Redis is done in Lua whereas the server-side scripting in MongoDB is done in JavaScript. Server operating systems for Redis are BDS, Linux, OSX and Windows and server operating systems for MongoDB are Solaris, Linux, OSX and Windows. So you can see the server operating systems are almost same except for BDS which is there in Redis and Solaris which is in MongoDB. So coming to the sharding that is the partitioning of data only hash sharding is supported in Redis that means only partition based on the hashes is supported in Redis whereas sharding or partition by range, hash or zone is supported in MongoDB. In Redis manual failover is required if you need to promote a replica in another data center to master whereas in MongoDB automatic failover with replica set elections is there. If you find this video helpful, do like, comment, share and subscribe to this channel.